after many, many weeks on the road, traveling across Ontario, talking to progressive conservatives and people who want change in the province of Ontario and who want to see us restore pride in the progressive conservative party. And we can do that. I arrived at Queen's Park in 2006, and at that time he was uh, a statesman in our party. He had already led our party through a very critical time previously, and a year and a half later he would find himself once again leading our per progressive conservative party through a period that we needed stability. And if there's somebody who exemplifies the meaning of statesman in the progressive conservative party, it is Senator Bob Brunson. <laughs> He served in the governments of Bill Davis, of Frank Miller, of Mike Harris, and Ernie Eves. He was in a variety of different portfolios. He has served with three members that are running uh, in this race today. And he, is, uh, he has chosen me, which is the most humbling thing, I think, that has happened during this entire campaign. Uh, to have a, a former leader of our party say that I'm the right choice, is, is a very humbling experience, and, and that he happens to come from our region, uh, it really makes me very happy. Thank you. Yeah. So I want to introduce a couple of people who are here this evening that are going to help our Eastern Ontario campaign achieve great results. And we'll be rolling out more information after Christmas, but I would like to introduce tonight former Cabinet Minister under Mike Harris, Ryan Colburn. Their House Leader from the Official Opposition, our MP from Lisa Grenville. Thank you. My colleague, MPP Jim McDonnell from Stormont Dundas, so Glenn here is here to see We have several city councillors who have joined our team. A few of them are here this evening. If you don't mind uh, raising your hand, we've got Mary Ann Wilkinson from Canada. Chair of our police board, a very good friend of mine, Eli, Eli Alshantiri. <laughs> and of course, the newly elected councillor for Osgood Ward, George DeRuz, is here. <laughs> we're building a very strong team in this region. But we're going to have to do more than rebuild the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party in Eastern Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to rebuild this party in every region, in every community, and every riding right across Ontario. And I believe it can be done. I believe we yeah. can win again. And I believe we will make one another proud. But what we need to do is ask people to come back home. This party is the longest serving government in Ontario's history. Unfortunately for the last four elections, they didn't come home. We didn't have enough people in our party to form a government. But that's got to change. So, if you're somebody who believes we need to give the police the tools they need to fight crime in places like Michelle Heights, I want you to come back home. If you believe, as I do, that we need to ensure that there is a bright future for Ontario's children, and that we have a strong economy, and that you're a tight fiscal conservative, I want you to come back home. If you were disappointed with Kathleen Wynne and her Liberals last week when we found out the smart meters cost $2 billion, that in licensed childcare across Ontario, 29,000 children were at risk in this province. If you believe that making backroom deals to step to make one candidate step aside while you get somebody else to run, if you're tired of that and you are an accountability conservative, come back home. Oh. Yeah. Who believes in living within your means, 
but helping those who can't help themselves. If you are a progressive conservative who believes we need safer streets and strong families, if you are a progressive conservative who believes we need a strong economy to fund our publicly funded health care and education system, come back home. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you this. Over the next four and a half months, I will continue to pro uh, travel this province. I will continue to urge those 40 or 50,000 members who've left our party to come back home. We are the party that built this province. We are the party that governed it for most of the last century and a better part of this century. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the party that built subways in Toronto. We are the party that built the 401. We are the party that built our modern day healthcare and education system. All we need to do is start talking about what we believe in. And when we do, and we talk broadly about what we stand for, I believe progressive conservatives will come back home. I'm here tonight, back in our community, in our city of Ottawa, the second largest city in the province of Ontario. This used to be a city that sent not only one MPP to Queen's Park on behalf of the progressive conservatives, but we sent John Baird, we sent Brian Coburn, we sent Norm Sterling, we sent Gary Guzzo to Queen's Park. We can do it again, but we're going to need to have a strong leader who can stand up to Kathleen Wynne, who can communicate our values and our ideals. And I'm that person. So ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you tonight, as we celebrate Hanukkah, as we get ready for Christmas, and we get ready to ring in 2015, I ask you to do me a favor. This membership that we take out tonight is what allows you to vote for me in the leadership. But it's going to take a lot more people than are in this room in order to win this. So I think we start at home. I think we start by selling the memberships in this room. But I'm going to ask you all, before you leave here tonight, to take two more membership forms and sell them over the holidays. I'm going to ask you to reach out to your friends, your neighbors, your family. I know they want a better government. You know they want a better government. And they will get a better government under a Lisa McLeod Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario. Yeah! yeah. After we've celebrated, the work is going to start in earnest. We'll work hard. And it will be up to all of us in this room to ensure progressive conservatives come back home and those who share our values make their home in this party. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me here this evening. To those of you I know in this room who are supporting me, please work a little bit harder. It is going to be a long campaign. I need you. To those of you who may be here tonight and you're not quite sure which candidate you are going to support, please go to my website, lisamcleod.ca, watch my launch speech, learn a little bit more about me, and I hope you'll consider me. And if there's anyone here in this room who is with one of my other friends in this race, and they are my friends, this isn't a race with enemies. We are all progressive conservatives. I share your values, and if you're with someone else in this leadership race, I ask that you make me your second ballot support. This is going to be a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of hard work. But if anyone can do it, we can in this room. Thank you very much.